Now, let's turn our focus to an issue many producers struggle with, and that's tall fescue. Let's learn a little more about the challenges tall fescue presents for cattle grazing. Fescue toxicosis is uh, probably the leading thing to losing revenue, and that would be coming through the ability to breed by a spike temperature in that animal. And then, of course, you know, if you have grass out there and the animals need to consume it, if their temperature is elevated by fescue toxicity, they're going to want to shade up or find water, which would lead to more herd health problems. We also know that fescue has a cost to uh, reproductive performance. Your calving rates can do drop down 25 to 50 percent. And so the cost in overall calf production, the weaning weights, it's all associated with fescue toxicosis. Fescue toxicosis is caused by ergot alkaloids produced by a fungal endophyte that infects Kentucky 31 tall fescue. It uh, costs the industry, the cattle industry, about a billion dollars a year. What Chaparral allows us to do is to go in and suppress the seed head on tall fescue. So suppressing seed heads with Chaparral, uh, it's not uncommon for us to see at least 90 to 95 percent suppression of the tall fescue seed heads. And how that plays out in the field in terms of production uh, of cattle, uh, we see it almost completely mitigating the issues with toxicosis in the summer. So our cattle are out grazing in the hotter parts of the day where normally they'd be standing in the shade. We're seeing better body condition on cattle because they're able to graze more and we're also weaning heavier calves. It has worked really well for us and I think it'll work very well for anybody else trying to gain the same type of goals that you are and trying to increase fertility, reduce the, the heat in your type of cattle from uh, the fescue toxicosis and uh, you know weight gain. I mean it's all about weaning off a better and bigger calf.